Hi there, this is Scott Penn, Principal Solutions Engineer at BMC Software. This is a continuation of our how-to video series on TrueSight Operations Management. This video segment is about how to set your thresholds for automatically discovered transactions in Application Visibility Management. A feature within Application Visibility Management is the ability to automatically discover applications. The grouping and the sorting of these applications then can be controlled and is covered in a separate video. But once you've properly discovered your applications, you can further configure them to have very specific service level agreements, which means that you're able to control the performance and the availability triggers for that specific application. Let me show you how that's done. If you go to the main menu and drop down the configuration section, you can edit your application and change the parameters. Under the transaction section, you can change the SLA parameters. The details of the configuration parameters are spelled out in the documentation, so if you go to the section on BMC TrueSight Application Visibility Manager, you'll find it here. In section 10.5, Pages, Home, Administering, Setting Up Applications for Monitoring, you can go through the details on this page and it will give you each parameter and what their meanings are. Rather than read the documentation, we can actually go back to the real system and I can show you live how this is done. you go back and edit it, notice it does say Global SLA, but it is only specific to the current application that we're editing. The minor level and the critical levels represent the percentage of traffic that would create the trigger for the yellow or the red. In this case, we can change it to 10 for minor and 15 for critical. And we can even actually change the independent time threshold that will trigger the event, such as end-to-end -end time, network time, server time, or even database. Availability errors are actually specific to HTTP level errors. So something like a 404 error or 504 error. And then I can send when the trigger will be sent across as an event. So we save all that. And now you can see that our set thresholds are set, 10% and 15% for our application. And just to go verify that it didn't impact any other applications, we'll go look at the other application we have and see that the global SLAs are still set to the original values. Well, I hope that shows you a little bit more about how to set application level thresholds for discovered applications and how you can set the impact for SLAs. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to talking to you some more on the TrueSight Operations Management videos.